Where do you work now? Oh, I just do freelance construction in LA. Um, you know, so many people want to do stage work, but hey, um, real estate pays better. I got a penny in my shoe and a soggy dollar bill in my car's cup holder. What'll that give me down there? I mean, if Mr. Jones still has spare wooden parts, I could just build you a shack, finally get you out of your damn car. I remember Mr. Jones. Is he still there? I should go talk to him and see if he still remembers me. Uh, he actually um, passed away like right before we moved away for college. Um, yeah, my mom went over to his home uh, and there were just tons of old bills, bank notices, eviction notices. You're kidding. Man, he made lots of money for those properties in our neighborhood. You know, and, and we, you know, we wouldn't have that afford if your mom hadn't paid him to teach you. Uh, actually, he taught me for free. Um, yeah, uh, it's like he was my dad. Uh, he even gave me freebies whenever I needed some. He's a good guy. I'm surprised that Rinky Dink part of town still has any original homes or businesses left standing. I mean, it's all these stupid new offices and apartment buildings. Oh, nice. Isn't uh, where you live now kind of like that? Yeah, but I don't want to turn it into New York. It's still got good people here and good character. Yeah, God, I mean, like, remember that, uh, that curry place? That, uh, it did yeah. take out. We'd always get it over by the gas station. You know, I'd still take that place any day over my mom's cooking. Huh, <laughs> me too. Uh, we should have met there today. When was the last time you visited that part of town, Capo? You know, I, I come back to see family once in a while, and I, I go drive around the old neighborhood to see all the new stuff. It's, it's not the same. It's foreign and, and empty. Same here. Just actually just visited our old neighborhood just to see if our houses were still standing there on the roundabout. They were, but I don't know. It's just it's just different. Yeah, you know, they marked, marked all those all trees, trees for clear cutting. They're trying to haul out the area for yeah. your building. It's Contractors have bought up all our old houses. It's, it's, it's depressing. It's, really it's weird to see it all. It all. all. You good? Yeah, a lot is changing, but uh, why not help our, you know, town exists a bit longer, you know? You know, okay, but we're not miracle workers. We can't just, you know, rebuild the town and force people to live in it. Yeah, but what if, what if we stop the construction and immortalize our town forever? You know, uh, Washington is the father of all wildlife refuges and even legally protects the largest ape in the United States, Bigfoot. What? Just hear me out. I'm a fan of all things conspiracy and mythical, so I'll come up with the main face of our monster that will freak out the construction workers there. So, you have some acting knowledge. You can fit the model of our monster. Then, I can take some rare sighting photos as proof this monster exists in the area. You know, try to spread the word so there's a lot of local attention. That means we will need someone handy who knows the construction field the best. Peter, you can pose as superintendent of the state with a totally realistic stop work order for them. Their only choice is to go away and we'll have our neighborhood back. If we succeed with this, we'll- Slow down, big guy. We're not gonna do this. But we have to do something. Just because something is coming to an end doesn't mean we lived it out for nothing. We can, come on, Pete, help me out. They're, they're right. Look, we moved away ages ago and we built our entire identities in a whole different place. I mean, and now you want us to take months of our lives acting out an idea to possibly fail. It just... It just doesn't make sense. Don't you guys want to? 
if we don't do something, eventually everything will just disappear. And it's like all our memories will be erased and our child who's in this town will be gone forever. 